Good day, everyone. So, I am going to show you how to clean and season your Dutch ovens for the winter season. I cook with cast iron every day in my house, but I also have a set that I use when I go camping. Um, this is a 12 inch lid. I do not know where my pan is. Um, that's kind of bothered me for a couple days now, but I don't know where it's at. So we will just clean and season this one and get it ready. And then this is the griddle that I use and we're going to clean it off really good. And I noticed when I was out getting my pie pan that my bread pan has gotten water in it and so we need to clean and re-season it. Then this is my 8 inch pan that I use when I'm camping. My other 12 inch pan when I'm camping. The 12 inch is the most common that I use when I uh, go camping. And then we have taken a liking to pie irons this year. And I have several different kinds. I have a square one, a round one. I have a couple hot dog ones. Um, we're going to clean and season these and then store them. I have a couple that are uh, doubles. And we have cooked pizzas in them, we've cooked hamburgers in them, we've cooked uh, little pies in them, we've cooked just bread in them. You can honestly cook whatever you want in these little pie irons. And I uh, also have a muffin tin that I'm going to use for Thanksgiving rolls. And so we're going to clean it up. It's been out in storage. And then this is my favorite. This is a 13 square by Camp Chef. I got it from the DI for $1.50. I have not cleaned it, so it needs to be cleaned. And then um, re-seasoned. So we are that is what we are going to do today is clean this clean all my other pans off and season them and then we're going to put them in the oven for about an hour two hours and then we'll let them cool down bring them out and uh, i said that wrong we're going to wash them put them in the oven to dry for about an hour then we're going to pull them out let them cool down and then we're going to season with the cast iron oil and then we're going to put them back in the oven for another hour to two hours and then we're going to cool them down and then we'll go put them out in the shed for next season except for the uh, rolls and the pie pan we're going to use for thanksgiving so let's get to it Okay, so we had a camera malfunction there. Anyways, we're just washing the lid now, which had a ton of stuff on it. We're just going to scrub it down good. And as you can see, it's still got a ton of... I have no idea what's on it. That's gross. So I just ran to the store and I picked up this brush. Hopefully it will uh, get in these little grooves. And hmm. I really don't know what they have cooked in here, but <laughs> I 
that does not want to come out. I think the inside looks good now. Let's wash this outside. So you can't pass a dollar fifty for a pound that costs well over a hundred dollars. So, we'll give it a good rinse. And uh, put it in the oven and dry it out and see what it looks like after. Okay, so we're gonna just grab down the cat, this uh, griddle real quick. We're not gonna like de season it or anything, just a quick scrub down on it. it off and put them in the oven to to dry it and then season. So I just put these in here just more or less to be dust as we're gonna use these for the rolls for Thanksgiving then just to de-dust my pie pan. And then in the bottom I have our pies. And again we're just doing a quick wash over make sure they're good. As you can see we broke this one because there was too much stuffing in our uh, pie pan or in the bread that we had used so you gotta be careful with that but they're super fun the kids love them we try new things in them almost every camping trip that we go on so just trying to rinse those all off Make sure you don't have that top. No food in them. Okay. And those are ready to go in the oven. Last nice thing about cast iron is you can uh, stack them on top of each other in the oven. And it's not gonna hurt them. So, 
we're just gonna pile them in there and uh, let them dry. We're gonna scoot this over because I made cinnamon rolls and I let them rise and so we're gonna slide those right in right there and that's everything. All the pans are in there and now we're gonna turn it to 350 and let it cook for about an hour. We'll pull the cinnamon rolls out when they're done but everything else is gonna cook for about an hour then we'll see what they look like. Cool them off, season them, put them back in for about two hours and then I'll show you what they look like. I forgot about the cinnamon rolls. So uh, they're probably nice and burnt. But, oh, I better not touch that pan with my hand. But I'm gonna pull out the pans and let them cool off. And then we're gonna head to wrestling and uh, then I will season them shortly. So there's the rest of them in there. Okay, so I just got some uh, vanilla frosting from a food storage. And now I'm going to put some on these and they'll be ready for the kids when they get home in just a few minutes. And be a nice treat for them. Do you guys like cinnamon rolls with lots of frosting or just a little bit of frosting? Leave your answer in the comment. Hey everybody, so my pants have been out now for a day. I need to finish seasoning them so that we can use them for Thanksgiving. So I use a microfiber fiber cloth and I cut it into fours and then I use the camp shift um, cast iron oil. This is my little guy Kaiser. So I'm just going to cut this cloth into the fours and then I will use one of the four until it gets grubby and then sometimes I do wash them and reuse them but I think I'll just throw these ones away this time so cut it in half and then fold it in half again and you could probably even get four out of the the half which is what I get to do it again. I do have my oven preheating at 350 and like I said they'll either sit in there for a couple hours I'll probably let them cool down in there tonight and then pull them out tomorrow. So shake this up because it will settle and separate and then I have the square lid I just take a section of the cloth and uh, go over the pan. 
really good. And as you can see, you get oh, grody on there. Make sure you get all the little creases, the handle of your pan so that it all gets seasoned real good. And you see the inside, I might have to strip this one next fall. We'll see how it does. But I'll end up stripping it next fall. So what's one of your favorite things to cook in a Dutch oven? Mine would either be carrot cake or lasagna. Um, I used to enter a lot of Dutch oven contests. I haven't entered in a couple years. Uh, life just gets too busy with with kids and just life, living life. So so there's that one. And then we'll do the pie. And I've never actually cooked a pie in this, so this will be our first time. 